The announcement trailer for ABBA goes up, and a player will see it and get... interested. They don't know if it's because of the character design, or hair, or expressions, or the key... <clears throat> Sorry. They don't know what it is, but something is drawing them in, so against their better judgment, they buy ABBA. Now, maybe they've never played Guilty Gear before, or maybe they have. Regardless, it all starts with learning the basics. The first place a future ABBA main will go will likely be the tutorial to learn the basics, but after a few tutorials, they'll likely leave from boredom because they figure it's better to learn as I go. And oh, how wrong they are. So after briefly reading ABBA's moveset, they jump into the training room to try out a few moves. Not really caring for ABBA's jealousy meter and mainly focusing on practicing her overdrive, the law is key, key is king, because of its unique animation, and restriction and constraint since it's an easy combo to learn. But after about 5 minutes, they jump into online matches. Now as usual, they'll do their placement matches to determine what floor they'll be going to and likely be placed on one of the lower floors due to not really understanding how to play ABBA yet. But after getting mashed into one of the floors, they'll jump into a match against someone with a slightly higher level than they are and get absolutely destroyed. This isn't a one-time occurrence though, as while well, yes they may win a round, they will ultimately end up losing at least a couple matches due to their lack of knowledge of ABBA, opting in most matches to button mash instead of properly learning what to do. Now it's here that most ABBA mains will reach a breaking point, some deciding to leave ABBA in favor of simpler characters, but some will stay, choosing to endure the hell that awaits them in order to improve. It's at this point that they'll jump back into the tutorials once again, not quite finishing all of them, but finishing enough so that things like Roman cancels and bursts aren't alien concepts to them. It's also here that they'll probably watch a few videos on ABBA as well, learning what exactly your playstyle is, as well as her pros and cons, and also taking the time to learn Abbott's moveset. So, after about a good 15 minutes of practice, they jump back online and show off what they've learned. It's here where the ABBA main feels like they've peaked. They're able to sweep opponents off their feet and win matches so consistently that they actually move up a floor. However, this newfound confidence just might be their downfall. Just when they feel like they're at the top of the world, they get smacked down. Hard. This new floor is nothing like what they've experienced before. It's full of people that can pull off perfects, as well as people that will spam projectiles across the stage. They'll likely feel a sense of rage building from all these new challenges to the point where it hinders their gameplay, making them act and play more aggressively in order to win a match. But even with the power of gamer rage, it's no use. They get smacked down again, and again, and again. To the point where they're at risk of dropping down to the floor they just escaped from. No. Something has to change. <laughs> And to this point where they reach a low with ABBA. Getting bored of a repetitive place done like a wins under their belt, the once proud ABBA main will choose to experiment with other characters, abandoning ABBA, opting to instead try out other characters like Ram, Lethal, and Elfelt. But after some time, they get bored. It's just not the same without their darling ABBA. <laughs> So after coming back to ABBA and pleading for forgiveness, they pick ABBA back up, but because of their time away, it's a bit of a struggle. Their first few hours back with ABBA will likely be very rough, as they're rusty, causing them to play awkwardly and lose so many matches that they actually drop a floor. It's a bit disheartening for this once proud ABBA main, but behind it all, a passion starts to grow. After a few more hours back with ABBA, they find that their passion for the characters reignited causing them to learn Abba's moveset in its entirety. The combos, to cancels, to the timing between her attacks. Everything is learned, and everything is perfected. And to this point where this now proud Abba main rises by two whole floors, absolutely dominating the competition. This is it. They've peaked. They've reached the top. Sure, they're not at the very top, but that's fine. They feel happy with themselves, content with their skill. They know that ABBA isn't the best character in the game, and that's fine. She doesn't have to be. So to this point where the ABBA main will continue to play on, not quite taking the game as seriously as they once did. Sure, they may bounce between other characters in order to check out more of the game, but in the end, they'll always return to their love, ABBA. 
Hey, it's Poke, and I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a lot of fun to make, and I highly encourage you to check out Hamaji Neo's TF2 videos, as this video was directly inspired by him and his work. But don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Kill.